Hello again everybody and uh, welcome to another Edge Sculpture presentation and welcome to the Highlands of Scotland. The Highlands of Scotland, I'll tell yes. you what's a beautiful location oh, as well. It's fantastic, though. it's stunning. It is. Mm. I didn't know where we were coming until we emptied the van and set up but it's beautiful isn't it Doug? What a visage. But where is it? Where have you brought us? I've now? brought us to Aylan Donan Castle which is in the Western Highlands. As Island Donan Castle. Though. Aye. Island Donan. Now, it's not that we know how to pronounce it, but I spoke to a really nice lady called Catherine, who's obviously Scottish, and we ran through a couple of the, uh, the names we're going to use just to make sure we pronounce them correctly. And we were wildly out, which is a good <laughs> job, because Island Donan Castle would have been Eileen Donan Castle, which is, which is not the same. It doesn't sound the same at all, does it? No, no. And particularly because we come from Peaky Blinder country. There's a Every now and then the twang comes out, look deaf, doesn't it? Daddy? Oiling down. And oh, oiling down. The castle doesn't <laughs> all down. So, so basically, it's Island Dunnan Castle. Island Dunnan. But yes, it's beautiful, isn't it, darling? It really is a good it's location. It's stunning. Great yes. location. But where is it? Where is it? It's, it's on the, at the point where three locks meet. Three locks meet? Yes, it's a, it's, that'll be Loch Long, Loch Duish, and Loch Alsh. Like and it's a, it's a great defensive uh, area, um, mainly because there was a lot of Viking raiders going along here. So the earliest structure is from the 13th century. So you know what the I Vikings believe. used to get everywhere, didn't they? Far further north than Lindisfarne. They did, causing accounts. trouble where they yeah, went. Yeah, And now, obviously, you know, influencing a lot of structures as well. Influencing a lot of cultural elements to Scotland and Great Britain as a whole. Mm -hmm, absolutely. But yeah. Anyway, we thought... It was a good starting point, didn't we, Dad? Yes. As part of our journey into seeing the Highlands. Yes, camp. yes, we're, we're going to journey around uh, the Highlands That's a bit. That's right. Mm -hmm. But we thought we'd just bring a couple of pieces with us to take a breath before we do that. So we brought the Golden Eagle along with us, a very worried looking hedgehog, <laughs> um, a, quite a bold uh, barn owl because he too can fly, and a fox who you'd think was quite safe being a fox. But apparently golden eagles can hunt foxes as well, Dan. Do they? They can hunt foxes, oh yeah. I mean, normally rabbits foxes. and hares, but no. no. Well, small fox, but foxes aren't that big anyway, but yeah. In other words, he's not that as confident as you might imagine. The golden eagles are fantastic predators, Dan. I say if you're a predator, they're fantastic. If you're not a predator, they're far from fantastic, Dan. They're just bad news. But yes. But yes, so this is our brief intro, and I think... That's about it. We, we've got to we've got to go west now. I think down yes, west. Yes, we're going to the Isle of Skye. The Isle of Skye. Yep. Yeah. So I think we'll get back at the backpacks in. Yep. And off we go. Yes, it, it, the imaginary magic button time. The imaginary magic again, button. No power. Nothing. I'm, I'm going to invest in some solar powered units. Not, I think, the, not the magic bagpipe then. Dan, no. <laughs> no, no. Or the magic. I thought it'd be a no. no. I'm, I'm glad you didn't. But. <laughs> I was waiting I for it. Line, I was waiting no, for it, but yes, so no. yeah. So imaginary magic button. Imaginary time. magic button. Press it. No less. Let's okay. Go. We've got a long way ready? to go. Yes. Ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hello again everybody and uh, welcome back. Uh, this is the main presentation for our new Highland cow and uh, for this presentation Matt I have brought us to the Isles of Skye. Very beautiful. Yes the area is the Kurang. Stunning. Yeah. It is stunning but then yes. where isn't around here to be honest. That's very true. And did you know, Matt, that Kerrang means round, round fold? I didn't have the Scooby. <laughs> no, 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 not did I. Until, no. <laughs> until I got here. But a fold uh, in these parts is, is a, a walled enclosure for the cattle to protect them in, in harsh winters. Okay. But this one, this the round one, fold, right. it's, a, it's a natural one. A natural, natural fold. So, so, that, so up in the mountains, there's a, a natural uh, plateau surrounded by stone pillars. 
Now, in the times when the, those naughty Vikings would go marauding... The naughty Vikings. Yes. But, well, take it lightly. <laughs> to, to, the bothersome Vikings. The mighty Vikings. <laughs> the mighty Vikings. <laughs> well, the, the locals would take the cattle, I like this one. Mean. Yes. Up there to put to hide them from the Vikings. To make it difficult for yes. them to plunder Nothing and steal here. them. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, this has been quite an adventure in itself in terms of sculpting it. Primarily because it's a subject that so many people have wanted me to do, including the shops and galleries. Now that's great on one hand because you know you, you have a subject that you, you, you hope is going to have a really good reception to it. But it's also very difficult. Because when you're sculpting something like that on a turntable, I, I put it very much akin to sculpting, say, a dog breed piece, say a bull terror or something, where you've got people out there waiting to see what it looks mm. like. That makes it a lot, lot harder. Yeah, anticipation. Yeah, also, when I, when I looked at lots of pictures of them, and I don't just mean uh, um, pictures of, of the cattle captured in their actual habitats, etc. I also was looking at the perception of it in the greater, broader community, particularly in the world of art, where there, let's be honest, there are lots of pictures of Highland cows everywhere done. Indeed. And I, I really didn't want to fall into that sort of, I suppose, um, cutesified rainbow coloured trap, even though I think they look great for what they are. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to sculpt that type of piece. I wanted it to look still very edge-like. Not only that, a Highland cow is a symbol of Scotland, or rather the Scottish um, local people are very proud of it. Now, when I think of a Scotsman, a Scotswoman, Scottish, I look at them as a very proud and fiercely proud nation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Which means to me, I wanted to sculpt a piece that was also powerful and passively powerful with it, mm -hmm. not just flouncy and a little bit cute. Yeah. So that's what I was trying to do with it. I hope I've achieved it. It's very difficult when you sculpt something. But yeah, I hope you like what you see. Absolutely, I, I think so, Matt. I, I think you, you, you have hit uh, the nail on the head, as it were. I mean, when you think of um, a Highland cow, this is exactly, you know, with, with the, regarding colours, because I, I know um, you, you I had to struggle oh, with your research the on the colours. colours, the colours but, but when when you mention Highland cow, this is what I, this yeah. is what I picture. But I, I know you've mentioned that you can get black ones. Uh, right? Well, the black. Well, ironically, the black Highland cow was the very first colour, or rather, Highland cows were all black. <laughs> yeah, they were. I mean, in the West Highlands, where they originate from, yeah, they were all black. But they were also a lot smaller and had longer hair because mm. in the Outer Hebrides and you know. There wasn't so much vegetation around, so literally, you know, they were undernourished, I and, guess, in a way. Uh, well, and uh, probably the climate has a lot to do with it, so Absolutely. a smaller body is uh, yep. less to heat, isn't it? So, But like anything, you know, through breeding, the colours came in. Yeah. Now, weirdly enough, when, when every, the common perception of Highland cow is sort of, I suppose, orange or red, yep. yellow, yep. whichever way you want to look at it, um, Queen Victoria... Uh, when she was visiting Scotland, I guess on her way to Balmoral or wherever, <laughs> or Edinburgh, she commented how she liked the red cattle that she saw, or the orange cattle she saw, which of course made everyone panic and flap <laughs> and start breeding them at 100 miles an hour just to make sure that the Queen could be happy, yes, good which is ridiculous, but <laughs> nevertheless, it's true. Which of course meant that today that's why you see so many coloured cattle and far, far less black ones. Even though when I have looked at pictures of the black ones, I really like them now. Oh, yeah, they're fantastic. In fact, I, you know, I want, I, I'm looking at getting one painted. I might actually be getting one painted right as I'm filming this, because, which is absolutely true as well. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Yes, I know. I know. I get, car <laughs> get carried away. Get carried away, exactly. But to get to this colour has been a, also a journey in itself, Dan. Yes. You know, with Peggy, bless her. I mean, she's had a lot to put up with with me because I can never make up my mind. It's very difficult. We both work um, hand in hand with it. It's, trying to get it to look right. Well, well yes, it has yeah. to be right, but I, I, I think, obviously, obviously, I think it is. You, you know, as I said earlier, when, when I picture it uh, in my mind, that this is what it is. Also, an, another tricky thing is to make sure the horns are facing forward as well, not just go straight up. Yeah. Because an awful lot of pictures, you can't tell with 2D. So with 3D, I'm trying to get, uh, get it so that you've got a, a purposefulness with it. 
Not necessarily in the same way as, say, a Spanish bull has got, where it's really got dramatic purpose, but nevertheless, some purpose. I wanted it to have that sort of power in it, despite the fact who's covered in hair and has a massive fringe. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you could do with a massive fringe. Talking of the fringe as well, Dan, mm -hmm. he can still see. And there's a reason he can still see, and that's, again, deliberate. Because, yes, I know a lot of pictures and a lot of the perception is that they can't because the hair falls in front of their eyes. But when you're sculpting a piece, or particularly when I'm sculpting a piece, I think, I know it's a cliche, but the eyes are the window of a soul for no, anything, including a creature. Mm. So that's why I've done it like that, folks. You know, it's a judgment. It's a judgment made when I'm sculpting it. So again, very deliberate. Yeah, and I hope you guys like the outcome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think uh, from here, we will go to the, the 360. Absolutely. So you can see yeah. it uh, up close. And then uh, we'll be back um, in a few moments to, to say goodbye. To say goodbye. And this is our third outing this month, Dan. So, <laughs> yes. Yes, you're probably very, very bored of us by now. Yes, yes. <laughs> so anyway, press that magic button. Okay, down, yes, imaginary magic button. Bit. It's still yes. imaginary. Yeah. But it's... It's there in my mind. Yeah. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back everybody and I hope you enjoyed the 360 video for the Highland Cow. Um, for this last section I have brought us to Glencoe, Matt. I know, it's magnificent isn't it? It's beautiful. It beautiful. really is. I, I believe yeah. they are called the, the Three Sisters behind the us. The Three Sisters? I hope so. Do they get on? <laughs> well they've been stuck together for a long time so I hope so. Did they share an eye down? <laughs> <laughs> you talk about the Stygian witches. I might be, <laughs> but not, either way, yes. It we're not in be. Greece anymore. No, well that's true, but <laughs> I forget. But either way, yes, it's, we're going to say goodbye, aren't we, Dan? Uh, well, yes, but first, uh, the Highland Cow uh, will be available for the stockist to pre-order. To pre-order from the trade-only website from tomorrow, which is Friday the 20th of May. Uh, 
It's all right, I'm expecting it, Dad. <laughs> I know you didn't know, it's a surprise. Oh, well, that's a surprise, isn't it? I know. Oh, should, should we press the magic button? No, 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 you can't do it yet. Hang on, whoa, whoa. What is it? He's dropped it. Hang on, it's coming, it's coming down. What is it? It was a surprise, because oh, it's, it's our last video of the month, I thought we'd, we'd end with a bang. It's, like it's coming. It's Christmas in May. It's coming. But it's dropped. He's missed. Hang on a second. <laughs> We can't move, we can't move. Hang on, it's rolling. It's rolling, I can hear it. Rolling? Okay, oh yeah. It's rolling. Hang on, whoa, whoa, here it comes. It's a uh, god, it's fast. I'm gonna catch it. Oh, Christ. Oh. Come on. Wow. Yes! Oh. A barrel of is that whiskey. What I think it, it, is? It, it is. Scotch. It is. Yes. I have to apologise though, it, it looks far smaller than the advert. But don't worry, don't worry. It's probably just got as much punch. That, that'll be enough. Yes. Uh, I don't suppose uh, you bought any glasses at court. Uh, yeah. Well, I packed, I packed some. Did you? <laughs> just in oh, case well, we were in Scotland. Who you? Just in case, just <laughs> yeah. in case. Here we go. Yeah. Yes, crystal. Yeah, <laughs> I'd, I'd say on the rocks, Dan, but this is a sort of rocks <laughs> of what I meant, but yeah. Yes, excellent. Any sort of rocks? Ice? Oh, ice. Yes, of course. I, I, earlier on, I popped up there. Did you? And just knocked a few off the wall. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, you shaped them as well? I did. I, I did. Luck, luckily, luckily, they, they, they're, they're still ice. Look, there you go. God there Lord. you go. How did, how did you prevent it from more, melting? Any more? I have lots. No, no, no. Are you sure? Yes. I'll, 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 I'll go neater. Right. Ooh, okay, well, that, that's tremendous, tremendous. Oh, 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 oh. oh look. Right. Oh, look at it. Oh, yes, I know. Amber gold. <laughs> no, amber gold's a cider, though. Even so. This is this is the purest of malt. Which is yes. single malt. Okay. Over to you. Oh, lovely jubbly. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> you've had it. Oh, <laughs> no, I haven't. You have. You have to. You have to. You have to just a handle down. Oh, I thought I was already on. Tip it up. That's yes. it. There you go. Whoa! Hang on a second. That's that's like four <laughs> or four in one go. Oh yes. If you're gonna go out, go out with a bang. Anyway, folks. <laughs> anyway, folks. Cheers and goodbye. Yes. Cheers. 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 And right. magic button. Yes, magic button magic before button. my imagination goes elsewhere. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Cheers. <laughs>